A developer building new construction or a landlord reimagining their retail should create merchandising plans. This is drawing out proposed demising walls and your conceptual tenant mix. The demising walls are the walls separating space by space, and the tenant mix is one that you create synergy, draw traffic from one tenant to the next. It's much smarter to market retail with a proper strategy in place, rather than just saying, I want the highest credit with the strongest rent. Every building, every space should have its own strategy. Before you put together a merchandising plan, you have to understand the neighborhood around you, and you should know the overall business plan of the subject building. What's the average age and household income of the community? Would a golf pro shop do well? Or do the nearby residents prefer yoga and boxing? Would fast food do well? Or do they prefer fine dining? If it's a residential building, what's the demographic of the target resident? Are there building amenities? And do they complement the retail? Or are they potentially competition for the retail? Is it a hotel above? Do guests want to be able to buy a gift for family and friends on their way back home? Or perhaps they prefer more dining options down below. Putting together the right merchandising plan for a hotel can increase rev par. For an office tower, you can attract cool companies. For a residential building, you have the opportunity to create a real sense of community. You should have a really good understanding of the back of house. You wanna create efficiencies for your tenants. Think through a restaurant that is gonna have several deliveries per week. Try to get them as close as possible to your freight entrance. They're gonna to wanna to understand the distance to the garbage room from their space, while other tenants are gonna want access to the parking garage or the passenger elevators. Think through the efficiencies for the customer as well. An office tower. A coffee shop might wanna be closest to the office entry. A restaurant is gonna to wanna to have the largest outdoor space as possible. You should have a clear understanding of your asking rent, your target rent, and which tenants you would make an exception for the taking rent. Most of the time, a child daycare center can't pay as much as a bank. If it's really important to your building, to your business plan, that you have a daycare center, try to create a side street opportunity that you can offer to that use category at a discounted rent. If you wanna target a really cool apparel tenant because you're confident they're gonna help you attract the next two or three tenants, Maybe create an awkward space that you can now offer at a discount because it leaves you over with a lot of frontage to now charge a premium for the leftover space. I ended all of my essays in high school and most of them in college with, in conclusion, my wife is a grammar goddess and has taught me a lot. Dina, cover your ears. In conclusion, know about a building, about a neighborhood, before you try to develop a merchandising plan. Landlords, landlord brokers, what's an important detail to think about while creating a merchandising plan? Let us know in the comments below.